What's going on, everybody? Josh Engelman here for Stochastic.com. Back again with the NBA DFS contenders on FanDuel for Friday, April 7th. Now, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you know when everything goes live. Follow me on Twitter, at Josh Engelman, and sign up for the NBA lineup generator 50% off using the link in the description. We generate thousands upon thousands of lineups. We get rid of the ones that we think stink, and we present the rest to you. Contrarian builds, chalky builds, balance builds, lock players, swap players, export up to 20 via CSV. This is a tool that will help you out in your DFS endeavors, and it's going to cost you less than five bucks for the first week. Now, we're rounding out the bottom of my top 10 with Kyrie Irving, Killian Hayes, Emmanuel Quickly, John Morant, and Terrence Davis on the outside looking in. This is going to change today, folks. Buckle up for a lot of ridiculous news. I did my best to assume some situations, and that's what we're going to end up getting here. Who will be my favorites? My top five plays for today. It's time to find out. First up at number five, I'm going to Chuma Okiki, assuming he plays. Power forward only, 3,600. Projected for 24, the goal's 29. He's in the optimal lineup 20% of the time. It doesn't look like we're going to have Fultz, Harris, Wagner, Wagner, Bancaro. Man, who else am I missing? Carter. I don't know, maybe one of Cole Anthony or Jalen Suggs. Who the hell knows? We might talk about those guys later too. So I'm guessing Chuma Okiki gets around 28 minutes. And if he does, he's around a 0.8 to 0.85 fantasy point per minute guy. 9.6 boards, two assists, and a stock and a half. They're massive underdogs against Brooklyn, but it doesn't matter. When you only have eight, nine, ten bodies, you're going to get a lot of playing time. Assuming Chuma Okiki starts for Orlando, he looks great at 3,600. Like I said, Cole Anthony in at number four. I don't know if he's going to play. He was active yesterday and didn't play. So unless you see him in a starting lineup, run the other direction. Point guard, shooting guard eligibility for Anthony, 6,100. Projected for 35. The goal is 41. Optimal lineup 22% of the time. If he's in, he's going to let it sail. 25% usage, 1.15 fantasy points per minute. I gave him 30 minutes. 18 points, 6 boards, 5 assists, and a stock for Anthony. Raw point ceiling becomes very high here, and the price tag basically won't matter. As long as he's starting, he's a great play. This one's simple. Luka Doncic in at number three. Point guard, shooting guard eligible, 11,800. Projected for 59. Goal 70, but really it's not. And uh, the optimal lineup 23% of the time. Dallas has to win to continue having any chance to win anything of value this year. They can make the playoffs, but they need a little bit of help. So they're going for it. Luke has been playing massive minutes one way or the other. You got to assume that's happening again today. 38 minutes, 1.55 fantasy points per minute, 34 and a half real points, 10 boards, seven assists, a stock and a half against a Chicago team that is probably sitting DeMar, probably sitting Levine. They have nothing to play for. They're locked into the 10 seed. Luca should carve up the bulls and the salary won't matter because we're going to have a ton of value. This raw point ceiling is the highest of anybody on the slate. To the Bucks we go for Javon Carter at number two. Point guard, shooting guard eligible, 5,200. Projected for 32, the goal is 37. He's in the optimal lineup 26% of the time. 31 minutes here for Carter because no Drew, no Middleton, no Connaughton, no Allen, no Giannis, no Brooke Lopez. There's just, everybody's out for the Bucks. He's a fantasy point per minute guy when those guys aren't around. 18 points on 23% usage, four boards, four assists, and a stock and a half. Pace up spot against Memphis. Memphis has something to play for, though. They do want to maintain their current seeding, so I assume that goes well. And I think Carter just sort of has to play these minutes. Incredible value play for today, even at 5,200. Finally, we close this one out with Bobby Portis. Power forward center eligible, 7,400. Projected for 42. The goal is 48. He's in the optimal lineup 26% of the time. I got him playing 30 minutes here. 31, in fact. 1.35 fantasy points per minute in this spot with nobody else around. 21.5 points, 13.5 rebounds. Just a massive day out of Portis. Two assists and a stock. He's basically the best offensive player on the Bucks when everybody is out. So everything is going to sort of run through Bobby Portis. As long as he's out there and starting, he's going to look great. He is your number one contender for today. Alrighty, folks, that will do it. Those are my NBA DFS contenders on FanDuel for Friday, April 7th. DraftKings version is around here somewhere, so check it out. Good luck tonight, everybody. Win some money. I guess we're back again Monday morning for another edition of The Contenders.